Hello everyone and welcome to day, what day are we on? Day eight? Day eight? Yes, day eight of 12 days of Vlogmas. I hope you're all doing well and are feeling the holiday spirit. If you celebrate Christmas, we're really close. So exciting. Um, so I'm home now from work. Sorry I didn't vlog this morning. I had like just a, a really like not crazy morning. I just was on like kind of a time crunch and didn't really have time to pick up the camera and record, but I've got a treat for you. We are going to be recipe testing tonight. So every once in a while, <laughs> every once in a while I get inspired to create a new recipe and Jack, did you know you inspired me for this one? Really? Do you know why? Do you remember what you said to me last night? I want soup. You want soup? What kind of soup? Potato soup. Potato soup. And I was like, hmm, shoot, I don't have potatoes. But I do have frozen hash browns. I'm going to attempt to make a broccoli potato soup. And I've just like looked up a bunch of recipes on Pinterest today and just kind of like jotted down in my notes section of my phone what I think I want to do. Um, so it could be a total fail or it could be really, really good. The point in filming this is just to encourage you to like, Sorry. it's just to encourage you to start like recipe testing because it is honestly made me, once I finally like got in the kitchen and just started like experimenting and not following a recipe and just like, here are the ingredients that I love and here are the spices that I love and I'm just gonna throw them all together. That's what really like got me into cooking and got me loving cooking. So if you're someone that like really wants to cook and wants to enjoy it, like everyone says it can be enjoyable, like try just like getting in there, looking up some recipes and give yourself the freedom to like not follow them and, and just put in what you want. So that's what we're gonna try today and it's also gonna be super quick and easy. I'm using like all pantry ingredients pretty much, very minimal prep and probably budget friendly as well. Um, if the recipe does turn out, I will put it in the description box below and you can follow along and make it if you want to too. We need to do the advent calendar. Let me do that before we get started. Look how full the tree is. Sorry, I've got laundry in. You might be able to hear that. All right, let's see what day we're on. We did 18. We're on day 19. Ooh, this one feels different. What is this? Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, it's a little soldier. Put you right here. This is everything that I have prepped so far for the soup. I just peeled and chopped up one carrot, one uh, medium-sized white or yellow onion, and two cloves of garlic. So I'm got a um, soup pot on the stove just warming up and I think I'm gonna go ahead and all add all of this stuff just with um, a little bit of water in the pan and a pinch of salt and pepper just to kind of get those cooking down. We will just let those veggies sweat in there for about five minutes. I'll set a timer for five minutes just so I don't do it too long. Next thing I'm gonna put in are the potatoes. And like I showed you before, these are just Yukon Select Hash Browns by the brand Alexia. And they're already seasoned a little bit. They just have like some salt and pepper and um, Oh yeah, onion, garlic, and white pepper as well. But other than that, they're just pretty much plain. And I've got about half the bag left. Let's see. Um, and it's about 28 ounces. So it would be half of 28. That would be 14. So I'm going to add 14 ounces of potatoes. I don't know what the equivalent would be. It kind of feels like maybe like three, three large potatoes in there. Well, yeah, I'm going to do the whole bag. So I'm gonna add all of that in there along with these seasonings. So I've got in here, I've got a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon total of thyme and marjoram. And the only reason I did that is because I didn't have a full teaspoon of thyme left. And 
I think marjoram is very similar to thyme. Um, I don't know if a chef would agree with me, but um, so I just supplemented supplemented a little bit of marjoram just to make a teaspoon. And then I've got half a teaspoon of salt in there as well. And then once they're thawed, they won't take long, so they're already cooked. I'm gonna add two cups of vegetable broth. I just make my vegetable broth using this better than bouillon vegetable base and we'll see if that's enough broth. I want to add too much broth because what we're going to do is puree the soup so it makes it like a thick potato soup and then add the rest of the ingredients. This is kind of how like when I'm recipe testing this is what I do. I get everything out beforehand, lay it all out. It seems like a pain to do it first but I promise you it makes cooking so much more enjoyable when you have all your ingredients out ready to go. the potatoes and I'm going to add the spices. I'm just gonna cover that and put it like on medium low so that the um, potatoes can thaw a little bit before I add the broth. So I'll probably set my timer for like two minutes. Should be quick. Now I'm gonna bring the heat up a little bit so we can bring the liquid to a boil. That way I'll just make sure that the carrots are tender because I don't want them to have any bite to them because I'm gonna use an immersion blender to blend this all up and make it nice and thick and creamy. If you don't have an immersion blender but you have just a regular blender, you can just put the soup to the side um, after it's brought to a boil for like five minutes just so it's not scalding hot and then transfer it to a blender. You could also just blend like half of it up and keep it chunky if you like it that way too. Just going to add a fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast. This is gonna give it like a nice cheesy cheddar flavor so it'll be kind of like a cheesy broccoli potato soup. All we have left is our broccoli and our corn and you guys, if you shop at Kroger, you've got to get their private selection hand-picked bro broccoli florets. A lot of times when you buy frozen broccoli, it comes in like just like the worst pieces ever. Do you know what I mean? These are like the most perfect florets and like the best quality frozen broccoli I've ever found. I'm just gonna give these a quick chop just so they're a little bit easier to eat. And I think I've got about a cup here and then we're gonna do a half cup of corn. We're just gonna add that right to the soup and let them thaw. Mmm. <laughs> what do you think? It's not bad. It's pretty not good. Bad? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. There's so it's pureed potatoes with the soup. And then I added broccoli and corn. I wonder if the potatoes would taste different though with an actual potato instead of the Frozen. hash brown. Well, and like the hash browns, they already had seasoning on them. So I think it might be like- I think like that's what's throwing it off. The seasoning that's already on the potatoes. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, so maybe get like- I think a sweet potato would be good. Mm, sweet potato? Yeah. We'll have to try it with sweet potato next time. But you think like everything else tastes good? It's mm -hmm. just like a little too much, too much flavor? A little bit, I think so, yeah. You like things a little bit more like clean and simple, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah. Okay, trial and error. That's right. Trial and error. Trial and error. See ya. Bye. <laughs>
We're gonna go eat now. I'm gonna watch some TV, I think. <laughs> Answer some phone calls, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow for another one. Bye.